All right, first let's talk about the basics of um, an atom and what parts make up that atom. So first, in this simulation, you see my atom here that isn't put together yet. And our first uh, particle that we're going to discuss is protons. And so you can see down at the bottom, you can see my little tray of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the protons are um, going to go into that center part called the nucleus. And you can see that the second I place in a proton, it tells me that I've just created a hydrogen atom without putting anything else in there, without any electrons, without any neutrons. The second a proton is um, present, then it qualifies as a hydrogen. And the reason for that is the protons are the particles that um, make the identity of each atom. So any atom with a single proton, that is a hydrogen. But if I add another proton to it, now it's no longer a hydrogen, it's a helium. If I add a third one, then that helium is no longer helium, it becomes a lithium. So again, the protons are the particle that um, identifies what the element is. And so you can see that on the periodic table here. So let's, you know, if I take one away, then helium is um, colored in on the periodic table, and then it, everything's in order numerically. If I add a third, then it jumps over here, and that's number three, and then it would continue um, as we go from left to right. All right, so now, um, one of the things that you should understand also is that protons have a positive charge just like a battery has a positive and a negative charge um, an atom has positive charges and negative charges too so these protons are positive in charge right and so here you can see that there are three pluses it's at a charge of plus three because there are three three protons there and um, for us at this moment all of our atoms are going to be neutral. In other words, the protons are, um, the pluses are going to equal the minuses. So protons are positive, and the particle that's negative are the electrons. And so I'm going to add three electrons to the atom. And you'll notice that the electrons find a place in one of these two energy levels. Okay, and we'll talk more about the energy levels later when we talk about valence electrons. But for us, for right now, understand that electrons are negative, protons are positive, and when we're creating a basic um, atom that's neutral, then the positives and negatives have to equal each other out. And so I'm going to add the third, and so we have three protons, three electrons. And so the pluses and the minuses cancel each other out, okay? And so we're all set as far as electrons. Now the other part are neutrons. And neutrons are the other, is the other particle that goes into the nucleus. And so if I take a look at, and again, this is a lithium. So if I um, bring this over, you can see that lithium has an atomic number of three. That's that number on the top. And that number is going to represent how many protons there are in that atom. And then at the bottom, this is the atomic mass, or the mass number. And that is going to be um, the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Now you can see that number is uh, complex. It's not. It's 6.94. All right. And the reason for that is that's an average. And so what we'll just do uh, instead of using 6.94 because we can't have 0.94 of a neutron or 0.94 of a proton, just like you can't have half a proton or half a neutron in there. We're just going to round that to seven. Okay. Just for our purposes, we're going to round that to seven. So our mass therefore is going to be seven. So what that means is in this nucleus we are going to have seven particles. Well we already have three protons. Uh, we have three protons in there. And that means we're going to add a certain number of neutrons and what we'll get is a total 
of 7 inside of that nucleus. So just doing the simple math, that means that our lithium atom is going to require 4 neutrons to make up that 7 in the atomic mass. All right, so let's add our four neutrons. And we're all set. So here you see lithium with three protons and three electrons. And the protons and electrons cancel each other out. One Protons are positive, electrons are negative. And then to make up our mass, which we rounded up to seven, to make up our mass, we, have, we already have three protons in that nucleus, so we needed to have four neutrons in that nucleus as well to make seven. All right, so hopefully it's pretty clear. It just takes um, some practice to determine uh, how many neutrons there are. So you just have to remember a couple of important things to round this number, right? Make sure you round that number and that the mass is the protons plus the neutrons. And the other thing to also remember is you might think, okay, well, what about the electrons? How come the electrons aren't counted in the mass? Well, the electrons are so tiny compared to the protons and the neutrons, they're not even calculated into the mass. So the mass of an atom is strictly protons and neutrons that are inside of that nucleus. All right. Um, hope that was clear. Um, you know, do some practice. And then uh, catch the next video where I talk about isotopes.